Hi guys, this video is about pattern scintillation. In the previous video, we talked about scintillation, which is the movement and rate of change of fire. For pattern scintillation, it is the rate of change in contrast and brightness. To see this, we will need to use fluorescent lighting instead of spotlights. Over here, we have three diamonds. The two diamonds on the left have pattern scintillation, while the third diamond on the right does not have any distinct patterning. You can see the pattern scintillation when a diamond is still or moving. When it is moving, it is the on-off black and white patterning you see that adds character to a diamond. The ASAT scope can be used to understand where these patternings are coming from by checking the cut patterning and light performance. From the respective ASAT scopes, the blue area which is the contrast are the black areas on a diamond, mainly at the arrows. The red areas, which is the light return, are the white areas on a diamond. These are where the black and white patternings are coming from. This can be further illustrated using checkered boards. The first diamond on the left is a solar sphere with 91 facets and 10 hearts and arrows. It has a higher pattern scintillation compared to the super ideal cut in the middle due to its higher facets. It has more and finer checkers. However, what is important is that both diamonds have the same amount of black and white where it is evenly distributed. This consistent patterning gives a diamond more personality. The third diamond on the right has no contrast, causing it to have too much white, resulting in a poor pattern scintillation. Because of the lack of patterning, it makes the diamond look very bland and dull. What makes a diamond more interesting and eye-catching is the consistent patterning it has, which is what makes our eyes more attracted to it. Here, we have two cushion diamonds. One is a pattern diamond, the other is a non-pattern diamond. The cushion brilliant is the first ever cushion shaped diamond that is cut with hearts and arrows to create this pattern scintillation. The diamond on the right is a typical cushion diamond that is abundant in the market. As you can see, it has no consistency and symmetry, causing it to look messy without any patterning. The difference between a pattern and a non-pattern diamond can be very obvious. Therefore, when you study a diamond's pattern scintillation, think of a checkered board. Does it have a good balance of white and black? And are they evenly distributed? All these can be easily analyzed using an ASAT scope. Thank you for spending time watching this video. To view more videos, do check out our YouTube channel, Jean-Paul. Thank you.